Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Gizmo Joe. Today, we have a 3.5 inch mechanical hard drive. Uh, basically, the story behind this guy is that I had an old desktop computer laying around and um, I wanted to get rid of it. It was taking up space in my house, and I was like, wait a minute, there's a hard drive in there, and I'm sure it's got tons of good stuff on there. And sure enough, it does. It's got uh, photos and music and all that sort of stuff. So, um, you know, the drive works, but, uh, you know, I've kind of shifted away from desktop desktop computers, um, I only have laptops in the house, um, and I said to myself, how the heck am I going to get all this data off of here? Um, I didn't want to chuck it out with all my data on there as well, so like you know, that could be uh, questionable, and obviously I don't want to contribute to e-waste. So we need to figure out a way to connect this guy to a modern laptop. Now thankfully this is not a super old hard drive, I mean it's pretty old, I'm not sure what the manufactured data on here is, I think it says 2007, uh, so it's pretty old, but it's still SATA, uh, so it's not IDE, so it's not super ancient, and uh, that makes things a lot easier, because we can find adapters uh, that will essentially allow us to hook this up to our laptop. Now the problem is, is that these big 3.5 inch mechanical hard drives need an external power source, they cannot be powered via USB. So we've got a couple solutions, and I've got one today that I'm going to show you. Okay folks, so what I have in front of me is basically a uh, USB to SATA adapter. Uh, this one's made by Digitech Computer. I got this one used uh, for pretty cheap. I found it on eBay here in Australia uh, for like a couple bucks and I said what the heck uh, you know the seller said that it was working okay and I said you know give it a shot it was only like five or six bucks and I think a little bit of postage or whatever. Uh, but basically what this does is allows you to connect pretty much any uh, SATA hard drive and then plug the USB into your computer and you should be able to read it. So now what's cool about this particular type is that you can use this on 2.5 inch, so laptop hard drives as well. You can just stick that in there, plug it into your computer and your computer will recognize it. However, for the big 3.5 inch mechanical drives like this guy here, like I said before, it needs external power. So this actually came with this plug here. So what you can see is, I'm not sure if this is the original plug that came with this, uh, the seller didn't specify, but you can see it's a little power supply here. And uh, basically, you know, it's it's 12 volt by 1.5 amps. Uh, the guy said, you know, it should work. I'm not an electrician, so I don't know if that's uh, what that means. Uh, but basically, the what how this works is you've got your barrel plug here. And if you look at the adapter itself, it has a spot for the barrel plug. So I'll, I just connect this like so. And I've got sort of a mess of cables here. But again, if you're just doing some data transfer or whatever, it's not that big of a deal. And I'm going to take this guy, plug him into the wall. The little uh, power red indicator thing here should come on. And then basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to essentially find the SATA connector on my hard drive and just basically plug it into the adapter. Now excuse me if this seems a bit strange because I'm trying to do this through a camera lens, but all said and done, it's going to look like that. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to grab my laptop and we're going to actually test this guy out. We're going to plug this guy into the wall and then we're going to take the USB and we're going to plug it into my laptop and we're going to see if this drive pops up on my laptop. All right, so stick around. Okay, so as you can see in front of me, I've got my laptop and I've got my old 500 gig, 3.5 inch mechanical hard drive. It's already connected to our SATA to USB adapter. Like I said, we've got the power power plug just here. What we're going to do is we're going to plug this into an extension cord that I've got just over here on the top left hand corner if you guys can see that. And I'm just going to plug them in. Okay now as you can see that red indicator light is on. I don't know if you can hear it but the hard drive is definitely spinning um, and don't hear any clicking or anything like that, so that's a good sign. Anyway, so uh, we've got that now. We need to plug this guy into our laptop. So I'm just going to take this, and this is uh, USB 3, by the way. Um, obviously, your performance is going to depend on the speed of your drive. Um, I'm not expecting amazing performance from a drive from 2007, uh, but my computer obviously just recognized that something was plugged in and made the little chime. 
And I'm going to see if I can try to get all this in the same shot. I apologize. Um, you guys who have been watching me for a while know that my setup isn't exactly super professional. Um, so I apologize for that. Now, uh, let's see. I'm going to bring up a File Explorer window here to see if this guy's been recognized yet. Oh, and I'm getting a little notification, and it just says storage. Uh, they've labeled it the E drive has been connected. And, yep, sure enough, uh, we are a go. I'm going to tilt this camera up a little bit. And um, I know it's hard for you guys to see, uh, but basically the E drive here, which again is this external storage drive connected via that SATA to USB adapter, uh, is showing all of my files here. So I've got documents, I've got pictures, I've got music. Uh, let's just take a look at the music folder, and there's heaps of stuff in here. And that's great because it means I can, uh, you know, grab all this stuff. I haven't lost this data. Just looking in the pictures folder right now, it's saying working on it. So, you know, let's see, fingers crossed. Hopefully I haven't lost any precious memories that I haven't looked at in years. But anyway, um, what... What you get here is basically, um, you know, a really inexpensive way to access these bigger 3.5 inch hard drives. So, you know, instead of contributing to e-waste um, or, you know, um, you know, potentially uh, sensitive information being on these hard drives. Um, I mean, I've got a documents folder in here. I mean, I've got, you know, I mean, there's tax stuff in here, all sorts of stuff, uh, which, you know, obviously I don't want in the hands of anyone that's not me. And so, um, you know, there, it's, it, it's, it's a good, cheap, easy way to access all this stuff, to recover all of this information, um, and, you know, that you're not just chucking it out. So I'm really pleased with this purchase. Now, um, like I said, this uh, particular brand of SATA connector, I'm not sure if they sell it anymore. I'll try to have a look online, and if I do find it, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, however, you can get these. A bunch of manufacturers make them, and they're in a bunch of different styles. Anyway, um, just stick with me. I'm just going to put my computer away for a second. So, yeah, so like I was saying, this is a cheap, inexpensive way to do some data recovery and to potentially even put these old hard drives to use. Um, you know, I mean, there's nothing that says I uh, can't use that for storage. Um, this maybe isn't the most elegant way to do it. Uh, this is a good, inexpensive way to do some data recovery. And like I said, you can take this, uh, you know, power plug out and just use this with standard 2.5 laptop drives or SSDs. So that's handy as well. Um, but, you know, there are other options on the market. You can get ones that, um, you know, are complete 3.5 inch enclosures. So if you do want to, you know, sit this on your desk and use it as external storage, uh, you definitely could. There's there's also some others that are like kind of almost like a toaster design where you kind of plug the drive in from the top and the top bit kind of hangs out of it or whatever. Um, but you know, all in all, whether you are just using it for data recovery or you want to put this hard drive back to use, uh, these little SATA to USB adapters uh, are great for these old 3.5 inch discs. You just got to make sure that it has an external power supply because like I said before, your laptop, your computer will not supply enough power through that USB in order to uh, get this big guy to work. Um, it will be fine with laptop drives which are much smaller, um, but these big desktop drives, you need to have external power. So if you're in the market for one, just make sure that it's got that uh, external power. But anyway, uh, hopefully this is useful to someone. Um, I'm sure a lot of you out there already know about these devices, but if you didn't, uh, hopefully um, you know, you've found a solution to put this hard drive back to use or to get some uh, you know, files back or whatever. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Uh, this is Gizmo Joe signing off.